Hey, my construction entrepreneurs. This one is a quick video for a tip of the week on how to prepare for emergencies before they happen. Enjoy. Hey, my construction entrepreneurs, this is Tyrone Jones with the Construction Entrepreneur School of Services, and I'm bringing you a tip of the week. This one here is how to prepare for emergencies before they happen. How to prepare for accidents now that may happen down the road. Okay, I had a situation that happened to me uh, about a few months ago where I had to go to a job site. It was at the end of it. They was preparing for a grand opening. And one of the last things need, need to be done was something that was on my scope of work. All right. Uh, originally, I was not able to complete it because we ran into some, uh, my guys ran into some water lines. They broke some water lines that was unmarked. We really didn't know that was there. So couldn't really do anything about that. Uh, so we had to relocate these bollards. Well, uh, my crew couldn't stay up there. So I was like, hey, let me reschedule you guys. Well, now my crew is on another job. And now they're pushing saying, hey, grand opening is happening. Can you complete these, Tyrone? So I haul tail, take my other partner, two of our helpers. We drive to Santa Maria, okay? We're leaving from um, Pomona area, okay? We drive from Santa Maria, driving to Santa Maria. I think it's about three hour, four hour drive. Um, halfway within the drive, we get a call about emergency at another store. This store was actually in San Marcos. Okay, so um, at the time we at the time we got the call, that emergency was about I want to say about maybe about four hours from where we we're at to get there. The distance about four hours. Okay, we we're we we're in Santa Barbara at that time, so we were just about either halfway or more than halfway to the Santa Maria location, right? Now, there's other locations at another department store, no real timelines, but one of our employees said he he, he he broke a fire sprinkler, okay? How he broke it, he said he hit it with his hard hat because it was demoing a wall, and he said he climbed up the ladder, didn't realize the fire sprinkler was there, hit it with his hard hat. To be honest with you, I think, I think he hit it with a hammer. Anyway, so so he hit it with his hard hat. There's water everywhere, right, in this bathroom. Now, mind you, I'm four hours away from this location, and uh, I pull over, assess it, say, hey, how bad is the water, and when are, you, when are we getting the shut off? We having trouble shutting it off, Tyrone. We don't know. It's bad. It's, it's, it's getting ready to link into the uh, 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 spill into the vestibule area, uh, which is the short hallway, and then it's going to start leaking into uh, um, another custom service area, then a, then the main sales floor area, right? Now, mind you, this takes a lot of water to travel that 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 amount of distance there on how that department is set up, and um, I was like, okay, so it was like, hey, when are you guys getting here? I told the project manager of this general contract we're doing work for. I said, there's no way I'm going to be there. But what I'm going to do for you is, and this is the tip of the week, I'm going to call my vendor because I have the after hour numbers and I'm going to have someone go and pick up vacuums, humidifiers, and everything we need to get this water up and get us back on track tonight. And I'm going to have that done in two hours. He was like, man, if you get that done like that, you're golden for me. So <clears throat> the tip of this week here is, is get after our numbers to you, some of your main vendors, okay? You don't need them for all vendors because some of your vendors carry the same thing, okay? So like me, I, I carry United Rentals, um, Sunbelt, and also Blue Line Rentals, okay? Blue Line, I just have a great relationship with them. And um, the other ones, um, Sunbelt, they carry a wide variety of uh, small and task equipment that, that really you can just have for anything, okay? Uh, and that's who I wanted to call. I call my sales rep, okay? And sometimes it's your sales rep is the after hour numbers, okay? You got a great relationship with your sales rep. You do a lot of rentals with them. Uh, he'll be happy to take care of your call and make sure you're taken care of right away. So I called my sales rep um, and he jumped right on it. He had that trailer loaded with vacuums and hoses and just ready to be picked up. My partner went over there, picked this thing up. Um, and then, um, we went over there, took care of that job and it was done. Now, once you take care of it, 
you, you can move on. Either you can continue to work, wrap it up for the day, or allow the next crew or trade to get in there to finish what they need to do. Or the, the, fire, the fire guys to get in there and do their repairs to what we broke. Okay. The next day, the only thing I'm dealing with is paperwork and issues about how my guy was doing whatever. Okay. He was on the phone while he was climbing the ladder. I, I don't know. Right. Uh, we didn't get for that, that particular one. We didn't get any slack back on that. We handled that quickly, but that that's what's key, right? It, it's taking this tip of the week here and applying it to your business. So you can also act quickly because when you act quickly, speed takes care of a lot of things, especially in business, speed, quick decision-making. Okay. Handling solutions quickly takes care of so much. It trumps everything else, okay? So get get a few vendors, get their after-hour numbers. If they don't have an after-hour numbers, then develop relationships with your sales rep, okay? If you don't have a sales rep, make sure you get someone that, that loves that business enough to give you their after-hour numbers, their personal sale. I don't care what it is, but you wanna get someone that, that you can reach that can help you solve something quickly that may happen on a particular project. And then everyone has different trades. So whatever your trade is and, and, and whatever can go wrong, you want to have whatever supplier that can supply you the most amount of things. You may want to have three of them lined up. You know, if you just got one, then just take one for now, but get their after hour numbers so they can help you solve your next emergency like that. All right, All right my construction entrepreneurs, I'm gonna let you go with that one. Remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. See you on the next one.